blah. Hello all you misfits, I am Ren, welcome back to the channel, and today we're doing another tutorial style video because, uh, that first one did so well. Oh my god, it did so well. So I'm gonna try to be making a few more of these. It's not gonna be all I make, there will be some more talking about free software and some other stuff looking over them, uh, and some more Linux related stuff because I have an unhealthy obsession with this operating system. Someone send me therapy. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's mean. Don't take therapy lightly. If you need therapy, actually take it seriously. I've, I've somehow canceled myself. Anyway, this video is going to be about some very, very helpful plugins for GIMP. Uh, this is going to relate back to the Enochi 2D video I made. For that system, the way that the developer has been speaking, you will need to have every layer of your 2D model in a separate PNG file. That sounds like a pain to export. Which is why I'm going to show you a plugin that does it for you. So with that, let's jump over to GIMP and I will show you how to install it. So now we are over in GIMP and if you notice, if you are running GIMP on Linux, you'll notice a few extra tabs I have here at the top, which is the FX Foundry and Script Foo. Uh, the reason for that is that I've installed plugins. However, if you are running GIMP on Ubuntu, they seem to have gotten rid of the ability to run Python plugins by default. You have to manually add some plugins back, and that is what I'm going to show you. So if I hop over... I clicked something. Okay, something happened. I clicked something. But we're back now. Now, if you're running this on Ubuntu, you may notice that there's extra stuff at the top, or on Linux in general. The reason for that being, I don't know why I'm redoing this take, uh, screw this. So if I jump over to my downloads folder and I... So if I go over into my downloads folder, you'll see I have a folder for my dev files and I have something specifically for GIMP Python. And that is all of these. So right here, I will show you the list of the package names. And I will have this file linked in the description, or I'll just have it pasted into the description, one of the two. Now, this is the website you need to go to. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash packages dot Debian dot org slash buster slash AMD 64 and then the package name. Slash download. Each of those packages are Python-GTK2 Python GoObject-2 LibFFI6 Python-NumPy python Caro, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that Python-GoObject-2 I have that in there twice I have GoObject in there twice I said GoObject, it's just GoObject But I have that in there twice, oops uh, so you're going to want to go through and download each of those packages. The full uh, file name will be a little different. You're just going to download the most recent. And if you are on like Pop! OS, if you have Eddie, use it. If you do not have Eddie, get it. Eddie is a lifesaver for the sole reason of to install these. I have it set to default open with Eddie for every deb file. You double click it, and that's it. I don't think it registered the double click, so I'm just going to right click open with Eddie. There it goes. Here's Eddie. Here's Eddie. I love this application. Just go through and open them, and it adds them all to a list. You'll have an install button right up here. And when you click that install button, it knows which order to install them and it knows what depends on what. And it's awesome. And I love it. That alone is a lifesaver. So if you don't already have Eddie, go ahead and grab Eddie. It's built with GTK. So if you're using the default GNOME on Ubuntu or on Pop! OS, you are good to go. I'm using KDE, so I kind of changed the styling a little bit to try to match my KDE theme, which as you can see is close. Not quite, but it's close enough. 
I'm trying to make it look generally like a dark, like a better dark mode Windows <laughs> is how I'm trying to make my Linux look. Um, but yeah, and once you have installed all of that, you're going to restart uh, GIMP and then you will be able to install uh, plugins. You'll get the extra little tabs at the top. You can install any Python plugins you use. I have have, I have the ones for different layer effects like drop shadows and borders and bevel and emboss. So I can do a little 3D stuff with D tokens uh, and to install them. What you do is you go into the preferences menu. You're going to go down to folders. And in there will be plugins. These are your plugins locations. This is not really used. This is the main plugin folder. So home, your PC name, .config, GIMP, version number, plugins. This is where pretty much all your plugins will go for any sort of uh, Python plugins. For script-based plugins, this is the location. Home, computer name, .config, GIMP, version number, scripts. I have one script plugin and I think two Python plugins. Um, one of the Python plugins being the ability to edit raw images, which I'm still amazed does not come default in GIMP. A little bit annoying to have to install that manually, but it's not hard. You do literally that one. All you do is just drop in the plugin and you're done. You don't need all those extra dependencies that I showed you earlier. Those dependencies were mostly for, um, a couple of other Python based plugins. I still highly recommend going ahead and installing all of those dependencies when you install GIMP that you always have the ability to add plugins as you need. But with that, you should be good to go. So if I just closed out of my, no, I didn't. There it is. Okay, so if I go over to, da -da 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 -da. I go to documents, live 2D. Uh, oh, wait. That's not where it is. It's in my pictures folder. Then it's in Ren. No, it's not. I don't remember where I saved it. Downloads? Oh, I've got to find it. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so. I'm dumb. If I go ahead and open the PSD file my artist created uh, here. You can see all the different things that were used to make it. There were so many layers. There are so many layers. They're all organized relatively well. But yeah, all of these are different layers. It looks kind of weird um, right here in the mouth because that's the teeth layer. That's the open mouth layer. They're both visible. They're typically not both visible when this part is visible in the middle. <laughs> so ignore how weird that looks. That's just because all the layers need to be there. Once you have installed the layers plugin, which after you've installed all those dependencies, you can just drag and drop the script file or the Python file into the appropriate folders and you're done. And you'll get in the start menu. Export layers is a button you get. Click that. And then you choose where to say it. So we're going to file extension PNG. Good. We're going to create a new folder and we're going to name test dash export dash layers and we're gonna export it um, I'm I don't care about compression on this because this is just a test export and here it goes it is exporting each and every layer into a new PNG file and we're just about done there we go. Now if I go back over to here, and I open up the folder, you will see each thing is its own separate PNG file, and each layer group is made into its own folder. So yeah, this is an incredibly useful tool, especially for when Enochi 2D releases. This will be a lifesaver for if you get a Photoshop file made to be done with Live 2D. All you have to do, GIMP can by default open Photoshop files. It cannot open any layer effects, so it'll get rid of those. 
Um, but if each layer has just been rasterized to just be no effects, it's just drawings and such, it'll open it fine. You'll get the same layer organization correctly. But all you have to do is open your PSD in GIMP, have that plugin, and just click to export. And then your images are ready to go for Enochi 2D. There may need to be a little bit of reorganization when the program releases in order to get everything in the right order, but I'll make an updated video for what that order is when it comes out because I'm really excited for that. And that's gonna be it for this video, a little bit on the shorter side. I am trying to bulk record some videos, so this one was a little bit rushed and there was minimal editing and such. However, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below letting me know because it helps me immensely with the YouTube algorithm and my god, do I need as much help as I can get. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you want to actually get notified when I publish videos, subscribe and hit the bell, because why, why not make it more difficult? It's not like you subscribe because you like the videos or anything. That'd be weird. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.